Hi everyone, welcome to SAS via admin administration sessions. So today we are starting with the SAS admin. How what is a SAS admin and how this SAS admin work in this SAS via? So what is the role and how uh, this SAS via admin handle the all these SAS via admin related responsibilities? So today is day one. So SAS via uh, in this uh, coming lecture we will see uh, the introduction of SAS via. Then architecture, deployment, overview, and the operating uh, SAS via servers, and this all the uh, we will see in the upcoming sessions, and uh, till the cache management and everything. So first of all, I'm going for the architecture of SAS via. So SAS via architecture, this is the multi-user cache server means multi-tenant uh, architecture. So we have two types of architecture. First is the single uh, machine architecture and we have the distributed environment also this is a distributed environment how this as via will be work so you can see here this is the all the web services uh, you can see here embedded web services with the SAS studio so what is a SAS via SAS via is the upgradation of SAS 9.4 so SAS via is uh, SAS via platform is the uh, uh, via and uh, it's uh, 3.5 and the 4 so uh, we are going for the 3.5 this has why i uh, introduce a new architecture of new product functionality and interact with the existing uh, functionality of sas 9.4 so you can see here this is sas studio this is sas via we have the single machine in the single machine only we have the cache controller cache uh, server monitor and the sas data connector but if we are going for the multi uh, distributed architecture multi-tenant architecture then you can see here we have the cache controller and secondary cache uh, controller so if any problem in the one controller so uh, that the other backup controller will be work and also we have the workers here so because the in this architecture or the multi-tenant architecture and distributed processing architecture we have the pallet processing will be uh, there so we call the uh, MPP so that is a that linear uh, that multiple processing is going on and the high performance uh, analytics we're doing with the distributed uh, architecture so in this architecture you can see here we have this as data connectors as escalator and the monitor servers and uh, the sas data connectors then we have the data uh, warehouse in the data warehouse we have the rdbms in the we have db2 oracle uh, ODBC PC files, PostgreSQLs, and SAS data sets, SAS 7 bat file also they are supporting uh, the SAS base files and the SQL server. And you can see here Hadoop also we have because the SAS via is capability to handle the large data set. So we have the Hive and Impla for the uh, big data uh, sets and this is the web applications all the web applications are the sas v analytics sas environment manager sas theme designer and the other web services so this is all the microservices we have and this is the uh, infrastructure servers so and the, here we have the sas system sas connect and this so we will see all the details uh, in of this architecture so first of all i'm uh, we are going for the single machine architecture. So how the single machine architecture will work and uh, where it's useful. So basically uh, in a single machine architecture, uh, the cache controller and services request requests and acts as a controller. Okay. So the controller node will perform the data analysis on a rows of data that in memory so same we have the cache controller here so this is a cache controller here we don't have the backup controller so but if you're going for the distributed architecture then you can see the cache controller backup is there but here we don't have and this is called the smp symmetric multiprocessing so uh, that is uh, the work okay so we we so access data uh, a uh, SAS data connector is used for configure the connection of data sources and such as existing SAS data uh, sets and Terra data sets and the Hive and Hadoops. So the single machine uses available of CPUs and the threads of the system uh, to this sp uh, to speed up analysis, but uh, all in the memory analytic feature or distributed server 
are available in single machine server so that is a also drawback because it's a single machine architecture so single machine architecture uh, servers cannot load data uh, memory in parallelly because you have to work uh, like uh, is uh, is working uh, not the parallelly is working one by one step okay but if you compare with the distributed architecture so distributed architecture will be work as the parallelly so you can see here this is mpp massively parallel processing why because here we have the data controllers we have the workers so what is a data controller work so data controller work with a distributed server and that uh, consists of one controller and optional backup controller so one or more uh, workers will be work here and the worker will be perform as a parallel processing of the distributed data and generate the result and send back to controller so that's the reason the many organization are using the parallel distributed architecture not for the single architecture because if you have the big data set then you will be go uh, with that one and you need the high performance of your sas because if the sas will will not work uh, so high and uh, it's not the parallel uh, mpp uh, massively parallel processing is here so uh, that is a useless because you need uh, the high performance of your sas so that's the reason the uh, distributed environment is introduced so uh, because in the base uh, sas also is working uh, on that one so this is a sas via interfaces so how this uh, sas what is the sas via interfaces and uh, the how the web sas will be work so you can see here first we have this is the uh, sas via interface and uh, i sign it for the uh, sas via it's the 14 days trial so now because many uh, subscriber is asking for how to uh, sas via we can do uh, for the 14 days so now because in the previous sas via in 2020 or 2021 or 22 so sas via will be available for the if you have the personal email id but now sas via is restricted for the uh, for organizations id so if you have the organization id or you, you have a college id university id so you can log in it but if you don't have that id if you have the personal id so you can't log in in this as via so that's restrictions in this as via now so i'll uh, log in with my organization id and uh, this is as via 3.5 then i click on the launch now you can see here i'm in the sas fire so this is all web services that is available this is a trial version so it's not showing the all the web services it will be here but uh, the if you're going in the organization and you will be see the same web services will be there so uh, how this web services will be work so web services is like managed data so what is a managed data is a sas data explorer and then we have sas data studio then we have this uh, explore and visual that is a sas visual analytics then we have build model build model is a model studio and uh, then we have sas model manager uh, and this is a sas drive is share and collaborate and develop a sas code is our sas mm -hmm. studio eg if every uh, if anyone know this as uh, 9.4 sas easy is same like the web services uh, we have after this as uh, 8 then we have the environment manager that that is uh, this one is important because we are going for this as we are admin so all work is related to the sas environment manager so we will see how we are managing this as by environment manager so this is about this as visual analytics what is a sas visual analytics sas visual analytics is basically for uh, visualizing the data finding the new patterns and uh, single with the self services interface and they will be giving us the insights of data you doesn't need to do anything you need to select on your data and they will be give you everything about your data so if you go in this as via so let me check my uh, sas data analytics will be work or not so explore and visualize so i'm going into uh, that explore and visualize services as visual analytics now i need to uh, select the data here it's taking a time because this is the web services so if uh, then you need to uh, go and select your data then it will be showing your 
data. So now you can see here, I'm in this as visual analytics. I click on this uh, start with the data. So if I click here, so uh, each option is there for select a data. Then you can see here is showing the uh, option for the data selection. So you need to select a data and they will be show us the inside of that data very easily. We need to only drag and drop. So says why functionality basically mainly work on the drag and drop. So that is the feature of this as why. So it's showing like this uh, feature. So then next is we have the SAS visual statics. So SAS visual statics will be give the data exploration and discovery of multiple users. You can easily create the huge number of predictive models using this one. So let's suppose we want to uh, apply the machine learning model. So here we don't need to write a code for the machine learning code. You only write, uh, you need to only select that particular model and uh, you need to implement here. So only the drag and drop services will be the here that you can use it. Then we have SAS visual machine learning. So using SAS visual machine learning, you can see here this graph is showing the uh, this is a decision tree or binary tree. You can implement very easily with using with SAS Visual Analytics. Then we have the SAS Visual Data Science. Uh, so it's take the data science capabilities to next level and explore the model related uh, text analytics, forecasting, optimization, econometrics uh, to your environment. Then uh, we have the SAS data science programming. So here we have, we can write also the code because uh, the they given the functionality for code. If you're not uh, comfortable with the code, you can go for the uh, drag and drop functionality also. And then we have uh, SAS data science decisioning. So that is ultimate experience with the access of SAS visual analytics and plus power to incorporate with the real time interactions. So this is the SAS data preparation. So it's very easy. You need to select a data and they will be show how uh, the data, what is the data inside and uh, you can uh, go with that one. You doesn't need to write a code for this one. So this is the managed data. You can see about uh, your data. And uh, if you want, uh, that is three option available there for the uh, default availability data source and the import. You can import uh, also data from uh, the other files or from your drive. Then we have SAS data preparation. So here you can prepare a data if you want to add, delete, column transform, column uh, data quality transform, multi input transform and row transformation. So you can do with this one. Then we have this as data preparation. So you would need to select your data and uh, simply uh, you can uh, apply that one and also you can do the scheduling with your data. Let's suppose you want to take a backup of uh, your everyday job. So you can also schedule the jobs from using this one. So this is all about this as my admin part. Uh, next we will continue with the next sessions the upcoming days. Thank you guys.